long ago, the Jade Emperor, supreme ruler of the heavens, decreed that he was going to create a yearly calendar so that mortals had a way to tell time. He decided that 12 animals would be needed for his calendar, each to represent a single year in a 12-year cycle. So he sent an invitation to all the land creatures of Earth, promising a spot to the first 12 that presented themselves in front of him. And with that, the great race began. The journey was harsh, and many of the animals gave up or could not continue. In the end, only 13 creatures made it to the final hurdle. The last obstacle was a wide river with a strong roaring current. In the middle lay a small piece of land where the Jade Emperor was waiting. The first to arrive at the river's edge was the cat, the rat, and the dog. The cat and the rat had been friends since childhood and were both cunning and intelligent. The dog was playful and very much enjoyed running and swimming. Right away it jumped into the river with a joyous bark and a wagging tail. Unfortunately, both the cat and the rat were horrible swimmers and could not cross the river. Realizing this, they began to strategize on how to get to the island. It was at this moment that the ox, the tiger, and the horse arrived. Running at full speed, the tiger leapt into the water and began to swim towards the island. Galloping not far behind, the horse followed the tiger into the river, unaware of shimmering green scales clinging to its tail. The ox, on the other hand, slowly made its way towards the waters while chewing on some grass. Seeing their opportunity, the cat and the rat asked the ox for passage to the island. In return, they promised that they would sing for the ox and gladly let him be the first to reach the Jade Emperor. The kind and innocent ox loved the sweet sounds of music and so agreed to carry them on its back. So the ox began to swim and the cat and the rat began a duet. As the ox made it halfway towards the island, a quick thumping sound was echoing back at the riverbank. The sound was coming from the speedy rabbit, who always thumped his leg when in deep thought. Knowing that it couldn't swim through the strong current, the rabbit saw a row of stones that went across the river. The distance from stone to stone was great, but the rabbit was an excellent hopper and decided to take the risk. Hop, 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 the rabbit went. But as the rabbit hopped onto the fourth stone, it slipped and fell into the river. Luckily, a piece of driftwood was nearby, saving the rabbit from drowning. Unfortunately, the current carried the driftwood and the rabbit away from the island. Back at the riverbank, the rooster, the goat, and the monkey had just arrived. Both the goat and the monkey were too small to battle the current, and while the rooster had wings, they weren't strong enough to fly across the river. Finding a large log in the bushes, the rooster suggested to the goat and the monkey that they should work together to cross the river. Agreeing with the rooster, the three animals got on the log and began to paddle across. The ox was nearly to the island and the cat and the rat were excited to reach their goal. But right as the ox was about to make landfall, the rat pushed the cat into the river. Not standing a chance against the current, the cat floated away downstream. Thanking the ox for its generosity, the rat jumped off its back and rushed towards the Jade Emperor. As the rat reached the Jade Emperor, he congratulated the rat on being the first animal to reach him. The rat laughed in glee, declaring itself the most intelligent of creatures. Following the rat in its slow pace, the Jade Emperor congratulated the ox for being the second animal to reach him. The ox was not mad at the rat for lying, for the ox was very kind-hearted. Moments later, the exhausted tiger arrived. The Jade Emperor congratulated the tiger for being the third animal to reach him. He asked the tiger why it was out of breath. The tiger explained that it had ferociously fought the river's current as it tried to drag the tiger downstream. 
Impressed, the Jade Emperor praised the tiger's power and ferocity. Meanwhile, the rabbit was sad as it floated farther and farther away from the island. Just as the rabbit was about to give up, a gigantic shadow came overhead. Suddenly, a great burst of wind knocked the rabbit off the driftwood and blew it right onto the island. Amazed that it somehow made it to land, the rabbit rushed to the Jade Emperor. He congratulated the rabbit for being the fourth animal to reach him. Happy that it made it, the rabbit began to hop for joy. As the rabbit continued to hop, a great creature landed behind it. Turning around with a fright, the rabbit found the dragon towering tall. The Jade Emperor stepped towards the dragon, congratulating it for being the fifth animal to reach him. Knowing that the dragon was a swift flying creature, the Jade Emperor questioned why it took so long to get to the island. The dragon told the Emperor that it was on the other side of the earth when it got its invitation. And while it made its way swiftly, the dragon explained that it stopped at many mortal villages in order to help the humans with their problems. Then, as it was about to reach the island, the dragon told the Emperor how it saw the sad rabbit drifting away. Stopping, the dragon took a deep breath and blew the rabbit to the island. Hearing the story, the rabbit greatly thanked the dragon for its generosity. The Jade Emperor was also affected by the dragon's compassion and declared the dragon as the noblest of all creatures. A little time after this, the tired horse slowly trotted to the Jade Emperor. Right as the horse was about to reach him, a loud hiss was heard. Jumping away in fright, the horse tripped over its legs and fell to the ground. The hissing came from the snake who had secretly hid in the horse's tail when it left the riverbank. Slivering past the scared horse, the snake reached the Jade Emperor who amusingly congratulated the snake on being the sixth animal to reach him. Once its heart slowed down again, the horse finally reached the Jade Emperor. Petting the horse, he told it not to feel bad, for the snake was a clever and sneaky creature. He then congratulated the horse on being the seventh animal to reach him. Next to arrive were the rooster, the goat, and the monkey, where they told the Jade Emperor the story of their teamwork. Overjoyed that the three creatures worked as a team, the Jade Emperor congratulated the goat on being eighth, the monkey on being ninth, and the rooster on being the tenth animals to reach him. Not soon after, the dog came running and barking towards the Jade Emperor. He congratulated the dog on being the eleventh animal to reach him. Knowing that the dog was the first animal to jump into the river, the Jade Emperor asked him why it was so late. The dog told him that it was so happy to play and splash in the water that it forgot all about the race. The Jade Emperor laughed and told the dog to always be a joyful creature. Much time had passed since the dog had reached him and no other creatures had showed up. But just as the Jade Emperor was about to declare the race finished, a large snort was heard coming from afar. With stubby legs, the pig arrived. The Jade Emperor congratulated the pig for being the twelfth and the final animal to reach him. The pig thanked the Jade Emperor and apologized for being tardy. It explained that it was already on the island when the invitation was sent, but it had fallen into a deep sleep after eating a large dinner. With the pig's arrival, the Jade Emperor declared the great race to be completed. He then gathered the twelve animals and announced that these twelve creatures would be the eternal symbols of his calendar. Hearing the announcement, the humans of the world cheered with excitement. There was only one creature filled with hate and disgust. It was the cat who had survived the current of the river. Betrayed by his friend the rat, the cat promised that the rat would be his enemy until the end of time. And it is because of this promise that even to this very day, cats hunt rats. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, then please consider subscribing to my channel. There's plenty more videos of mythology, folklore, and fairy tales on the way, so please subscribe. Until next time.